guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock, which means it's time for a talk magic. And this is a very special talk magic. I'm here today with somebody I've interviewed on the channel before, someone who I've openly said is one of my favorite magicians in the whole world. He is a legend in the UK magic community. Uh, I am, of course, talking about the one and only Michael J. Fitch, and he's going to be talking specifically today about one of the most exciting things happening in the UK in the magic world throughout 2022, which is the Magic Circle Convention. You heard it right, the Magic Circle Convention. To find out more, I'm going to be speaking to Michael. How are you doing, Mr. Fitch? Are you all right? I'm really good, thank you. Thanks for having me back again. Uh, I'm good. Really anytime, good. Anytime, anytime. You're welcome on this channel. Anytime at all. Thank you. And uh, you know what? I mean, the last time we spoke, I think it was in the middle of lockdown. You were in the middle of virtual shows. I was mm -hmm. in the middle of virtual shows. We couldn't leave our houses. And now, just a few months later, we're talking about in a few months holding a big convention, getting loads of people in. It's wonderful how things are panning out at the moment, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so during lockdown, I got a bit more involved, um, as you know, with the Magic Circle and, I, and I'm on council in the Magic Circle after doing the online events, which we spoke about, you know, the Magic Circle unlocked and everything. It was great. Um, yeah. But now we, we, we've the doors are open and uh, yeah, we've got a convention, which is very, very exciting. So where, where did this, right, so first of all, we need to talk about the convention, because you're, you're very, this was basically, I mean, you're on council, for people that don't know, Michael, Michael is a new council member, he's back on council on the Magic Circle, and, and, and the new council have been really spearheading kind of changes and moving in, in, into the future, mm -hmm. and you've been really involved, this has been your baby, putting on the Magic Circle convention. Has this ever been done before? Because I've been speaking to people, and, and I think there's a little bit of confusion between the Magic Circle Convention mm -hmm. and the Dealer Day. So before we even talk about the convention, can you clear up the history behind all of this for us? Would that be Yeah, okay? there, was some, there was, well, no, there's not an annual convention the Magic Circle put on. Um, there is a Dealer Day they have, which, uh, which, which isn't a convention. They, have a, like a, they go to a hotel and have some dealers there. But they have, they've had, they've put on uh, the Centenary Day, um, which was like a convention, very successful event. And I think maybe if you go further, further back before we were involved or doing stuff, then they may have had smaller sort of events like conventions. But it, it just, I, I, um, so before the Magic Circle, I was with the Ipswich Magic Society and our annual thing was the convention. We put on a convention. And obviously that was a really big day in the calendar for that Magic Club and it did so much. And I was amazed that the Magic Circle doesn't have a convention. And um, it's something that I put in my sort of hustings is, if, you know, I get on council, there's a few ideas I'd like to bring forward. And, um, and, and everyone on council was behind the idea, loved it. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not just me um, putting this on, there's a whole team of people, but everyone's behind the idea. And everyone's like, yeah, why haven't we done that actually? And um, yeah, and that's what makes it easier to make things happen when everyone's on the same page things happen and it is crazy that like the most prestigious magic organization in the world hasn't put on a convention where there's lots of really kind of small one-day conventions around the uk that are all great in their own yeah. ways but really if there's any organization that has the infrastructure and and everything they need to be able to put something like this off it's the magic circle right absolutely absolutely and that's that's the exciting thing about it is because, you know, our conversations were had about, you know, I went and looked at some nice hotels near the Magic Circle and thought, oh, you know, we could have a Magic Circle convention here and looked around. But then if we do the way we, we want to put the convention on, it's like, OK, we, we'd have to build a stage and everything. So the Magic Circle convention is at the Magic Circle, which is fantastic because we have all the lectures and the gala show Sunday night at the Magic Circle is on stage at the Magic Circle. And we've, we've got a great stage, we've got great lighting, great sound. So we've got all that technology there. We haven't got to hire it all in and build it and, you know, like you see some conventions. So we've got that. But then the problem was like, oh, how can we have more people in for like the dealer hall sort of thing? And we've got a great hotel, which our fire exit door opens onto, the Wesley Hotel in Houston. Literally, it, it's like, you know, very, it's, it's the building right next door to us. And we had a look around there the other day and they've got fantastic facilities. So we are linking the two, you know, the magic circle is going to be for the, uh, the lectures and the shows 
and the Magic Emporium, our dealers hall, is going to be at the Wesley Hotel. And also that's where the session in will go on. People have a beer and a few drinks or something to eat. And it's, it's next door. So it's it's perfect. Everything is coming together absolutely perfect. So Amazing. yeah, very excited. Well, let's unpick some of that. Okay, so let, and let's give everyone the information that they need. So first of all, have you decided when this thing's starting? Is it like, a, a, you know, when's the dealer's opening? Or oh, sorry. <laughs> The, yes. the magical emporium because the magic emporium <laughs> it's a dealer hall it's a new word for a dealer hall i, like, I just i love the word emporium well, you look up thing, emporium I, I know i'm joking about the emporium thing but one of the things that strikes me about this and maybe it's because it's the magic circle i don't know but the convention seems very exclusive very intimate um, it, yeah it absolutely is because we, we you know we haven't got because of the facilities we have for the gala show sunday night the magic circle and the lectures you know there's only 160 seats in the theater so we can't sell more than 160 tickets because we want everyone to have a great seat and see that so we you are it's absolutely exclusive and intimate um so that's why you know it's 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 if you want to come to this day if you haven't already get your tickets early because it's it will sell out very, very quickly, if not already. So if there's a link or anything and you're free 11th of September and then you can come to the Magic Circle. As of time of filming, it's already like getting close to selling out, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's absolutely. We are, I'm not very good at percentages. We're probably 70, 70% sold out, I would say. We are, yeah. It's it's absolutely crucial that you, you get your tickets. That's amazing. Early. So back to the first question, because I have lots of questions. Mm. So number one, what time does the Emporium open? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m., yeah, 11th of September. And throughout the day, you're going to have four lectures. We'll get to the lectures yes. in a bit. Throughout the day, you're going to have four lectures. They will take place in the theatre in the Magic Circle. Correct. Yep. So people can go back and forth between the Magic Circle and the dealers. Mm -hmm. Will the bar at the Magic Circle be open as well as the bar in the hotel, or is it going yes, to be? Yes, yes, I yeah. believe, yeah, all the, the facilities will be open in both. Um, whether we, there's still a few things to iron out because, you know, we will be going between the two. But, yeah, absolutely, I think the bar will pretty much be open downstairs um, in the Magic Circle, especially, probably, you know, nearer to the show. Because one of the big selling points for me is the fact that it's at the Magic Circle. I mean, that it, 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 ordinarily, you can't get into that place for love yeah. nor money unless you're a member. But now yeah. you're opening that. It's a little bit like Willy Wonka opening the doors to his chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah, you got a right. golden ticket. Yeah, right. You're going to get a golden ticket. You're going to get to go in there. So are they going to be able to see around the circle? Are they going to be able to take a picture on the iconic staircase and go down? get that selfie. Seat? you got to get that yeah. selfie. That oh, selfie don't. with a staircase. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, you make a really good point because obviously, you know, we've got a lot of our members going, but now we have released tickets to the Magic community. So, you know, hopefully this is a chance if you haven't been before to come and see the amazing HQ the Magic Circle has. And yeah, absolutely. We, we can have uh, one of our incredible guys show you around the museum because, I mean, you, you've been to the Magic Circle many times. Incredible. It's incredible, isn't it? It's, it's, I don't know how you describe it. It's, I get that. Really excited feeling every time I go to the Magic Circle because even if you look in the cabinets in the Devant Room or you go downstairs and you look in the library and the and the the museum and see everything, there's so much to see there. So uh, yeah, I think we should um, we should arrange a tour or a few tours at different times for those who haven't been because you know many members will see it all the time because they go every Monday. But you make a really good point. If you've never been to the Magic Circle before, we want to show off this amazing building and show you why you should be a member of the Magic Circle. And I think a lot of people will be coming that haven't seen the Circle before. I know I know a few people that have bought tickets that aren't Circle members, so I think that would yeah. be a really, really big point. Um, okay, next question. Let's talk about the dealers. Are we going to have a big range of dealers? Are we going to have um, lots of different dealers there? Yes, absolutely. The Magic Emporium. The Magic Emporium is growing and growing at the moment. Uh, I, we've got some amazing independent small dealers who specialise in certain effects. And uh, we've got some of the, the big players there who you will know already. Um, you know, Alakazam are going to be there. And we've got International Magic going to be there, which, you know, Ron McMillan is an absolute legend. Uh, literally, you know, his, 
his shop i mean i went into international magic the other day and that place is amazing if you go into london you need to go to clerkenwell and visit international magic because it's i don't think it's changed in that shop since for years and years and years and it's it's what a magic shop everything a magic shop should be um and you'll you'll always bump into someone in there as well but uh, but absolutely make a point if you go into london to go and visit international magic but i'm really pleased that he is going to be there as well um and uh, we've got quite a few exclusives as well quite a few dealers are sort of gonna told me they're gonna save some things for the magic circle uh convention day and release it on that day which is very exciting brilliant as well. that's amazing that yeah. used to happen a lot didn't it craig do you remember so you go to a convention and that would that would be where you would see that that new product launch now we live in a world it's like you know it's all on facebook this is this it does that you know it's available now but there's a few exclusives going to be happening uh, which is which is exciting that is very cool i'm loving that and and are you going to have a list of the uh i don't i, don't, I guess they're not dealers if it's an emporium are they traders <laughs> 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 yeah what what do they what do you what yeah that's a good question I like the name Emporium, but I need a better name for the dealers. I'm still yeah, you, can't have, you can't have dealers in an Emporium. It's got yeah. to be something. Uh, yeah. So it's yeah. to sound less like a drugs thing. <laughs> Purveyors of mysterious mm. artifacts and I don't know, something like that. Yeah, if you've got any ideas, let, let us know, please. I want to thank you for the dealers. In the comments down below. And then, of course, outside of the dealers, we've got the lecturers. Now, you haven't announced everybody. Mm -hmm. And despite me desperately trying to get it out of you, not told me, but there are a couple of names that have been announced. Just a couple of small names, not particularly big players in the industry. And let's uh -huh. talk about the first one. You got Mark Oberon. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Very, very excited to get Mark Oberon. He, he, is, he is a magician's magician, Mark Oberon. Everything he does is fantastic and world-class. That's why he is a multi-award winning, FISM winning, incredible man. Um, he's yeah he, he is a he ticks that box as a magician's magician there's not many magicians do that you know there there's um i mean i always think back the first comes to mind is daryl yeah you know bless him he was you know that was his catchphrase the magician's magician and boy did he live up to that he was oh, phenomenal yeah. i see him lecture in the uk many times and his energy was amazing but you know michael lamar he's a magician's magician he will Show me, you know, it's 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 interesting. You sort of see these people, you know, Doc Eason. Literally, I'm just listing all my heroes here, and that's where Mark Oberon, you know, he ticks all those boxes. So he's um, he's brilliant, Mark. So yeah, he'll be lecturing for us, and also obviously we've got him in the gala show as well. So very excited, which well, is I, I, Sunday night at the Magic Circle. Sunday night at the Magic Circle, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, I think it's law that if you have him lecturing, he has to. But why would you not have? Mark O'Brien on, on your I know, call. absolutely. Hello everyone, Mark Oberon here. I'm so proud to announce that I'm one of the acts that's been booked to perform and lecture at the Magic Circle Convention. The lecture will be on the creation and the choreography of magic, and I will perform and explain several of my effects in order to communicate these ideas. The stage performance will include all my latest material along with some of the older material, including parts of my FISM act. It's going to be a great day. Look forward to seeing you there. And, and I, um, I, I heard somewhere, I think it might have been on his sizzle reel, that he's going to be like even talking about some of the elements 
mm-hmm. that made up his his golden axe. Yes, yes. From, from Fissum, which I've never seen him talk about before. I mean, that's yeah. No, he's he's going to share a, a lot of amazing things with us, and and like you say, he, he breaks it down and shows it how some of the lessons he's learned you can apply to your magic as well as learning his incredible secrets. And you know, I mean, Mark's Mark's got some amazing products for the real magic world that we can all do as well. You know, it's he's uh, he's brilliant, and he's knowing Mark, he'll probably have something new that he's created between now and then that's just in his mind at the moment because he works extremely quickly. So. You know that there's going to be something new for everybody that when you see Mark over on. Very exciting. One of my favourite magicians. Like when I uh, when he uh, was doing a very small workshop on Lee Hathaway's boat. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, right, me and Ryland are coming along to that because I mean, you can learn. So, he's one. Of, he, you're right. He, he can do everything. Like yeah. uh, I've never seen Mark over on do the linking rings before. Like I, I ever. And then when I was with him on on Lee Hathaway's boat. He just did the most amazing linking ring routine I've ever seen. And he's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'll do this. He does, he does everything flawlessly. Close-up, stage, manipulation, everything. Just yeah. Brilliant. He does. He, he, um, he's just, he's a real magician. Even as a magician watching him. I went and see him do a show in a casino in London um, a few months ago. You know, the, the, the public were there. There were a lot of magicians there as well. And he... Um, he just, he, he, he is a magician. <laughs> he's literally, you know, if, it, if he wants something, it'll be a flash and it will appear and he'll, yep. he's got the look of a magician. He's, he reminds me of Houdini a little bit. If you look, you look at his face and you see it before, he reminds me of Houdini. I don't know if other people notice that, but if you, if you put a comparison, you'll probably find the two pictures you might be able to show on here, or it might just be me. But I really do think he ticks all those boxes for me as, as a, a real magician. And um, we've got a real magician. We've got more than one real magician at the convention, but what a good place to start. Mark Oberon's going to be at the convention. And then going from Mark Oberon, you then go to another Mark. Another Mark, spelled the same with a C yeah. um, at the end. And an incredible... I mean, I'm really, really excited about this because, uh, yeah, we've got Mark Spellman. I mean, X. before you talk about this, Mark is probably one of the most well-known magicians to lay people at this point in the UK, yeah. if not abroad, than anyone else. Everybody knows who Mark Spellman is. Everybody knows who X is. Mm. And, you know, I remember interviewing him about a year ago on, on, on this channel. And I asked him the question. I said, uh, you know, you've bought lots of stuff out in the past. Are you going to lecture again? And he said, I'm just too busy performing. I'm not, I'm probably not going to have the time. And then fast forward a few months, he's lecturing, performing, and doing a QA yeah. at the Magic Circle Convention. Yeah. How, pulled in a lot of favors there. How did you pull that one off? Seriously. Well, pulled in a lot of favors there. Mark did a fantastic video for us um, for joining the Magic Circle. He did this amazing video in the style of Magician X as a sort of recruitment video about joining the magic circle for the Blackpool Magic Convention. And um, we, I, Mark's been a good friend of mine for a very long time. And I was so proud of him with the, I still get the hairs of my arms still stand up with his moment of that reveal. It was just phenomenal, really. And then seeing what he did on America's Got Talent as well. Oh. You know, he's one of our own, he's one of our own who's gone out there and done it in a big way. And it's been, really really good i've never heard a bad word said about spellman from any magician in the magic community and that's you know that, that in the magic community is some feat honestly you know be, and that's because he is a really nice guy and he knows what he's talking about he's been there done it and i mean i've, I've heard some some of the things he's got for the future as well that's very exciting as well because he's always thinking and and doing some stuff so i mean um yeah, really excited to get him. And this is this is a very this is something exclusive, you know. Mark, I don't think he's lectured for five years or so. And you know, obviously, I know two years, two of them years, there's been a pandemic going on. But when he he did, um, you know, Magician X on uh, on BGT, and then went to America and did um, the you know the best of on America's Got Talent, and did that thing with which was um, it was a guest spot, wasn't it? Was it Shin, Shin Lim? Shin, Shin Lim, Lim as well, and. He's got these incredible moments. And 
millions and millions of views on YouTube. Like he's he's a big deal. I think a documentary was made about Mark in China or something as well. He's he's a big deal, and he's um, but uh, the, underneath all of that, he's he's a family man. He's got his morals. He's a real family man, and um, oh, he's amazing. He's brilliant. So he's going to be giving us a lecture and releasing something exclusive to the magic community that he's been working on for a very long time. So I won't say any more about that, but this is a chance to see something special. And we're going to have a Q&A as well. So if you've got any questions, you know, about, you know, his journey as X or creating X and everything there, it's, um, this is your opportunity. Uh, he's, he's a really nice guy, very approachable. He'll be there the whole day and he's going to be in the show in the evening as well. So I'm really excited. So there's two good marks for it for us there mark obron and mark spellman how's that for marketing that's well mark <laughs> i know where you did that here's a question when he goes on the gala show and you might not know the answer to this but when he does the gala show are we going to be seeing x do the gala show are we going to see mark spellman do the gala show that's a very good question i'm sort of leaving that up to mark um but i would love to see a little bit of both i'm sure i'm we'll see we'll see i um yeah, if I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to say because I, I don't know 100% because I want it to be a bit of a surprise as well. But I know it will be fantastic. Absolutely gobsmacked. You have just taken magic to a whole new level. I loved your presentation. It's it's astonishing. Utterly extraordinary. One particular act uh, making quite an impression. Thank you very that much. wasn't technically magic, was it? That was self-harming. Good one. That is very brilliant. Mark. Mark. That's amazing. Is that right? Yeah. Is it right, really? Yeah. Nice one, Adele. Thank you very much. How'd you do that? Spellman. Mark Spellman. It's Mark Spellman. Hi, Mark Spellman here, otherwise known as Magician X. If you'd like to see my lecture, my Q&A, and my Gala Show performance at the prestigious Magic Circle Convention on September the 11th, 2022, book your tickets now, because they are selling fast, and I cannot wait to see you there. Until then, take care, and I will see you very soon. To be honest, he could just come out on that stage for 20 minutes and just shuffle a pack of cards and I'd probably be entertained. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's, it's very true. But no, it's, it's going to be very good. I mean, I've, 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 I saw Mark years and years ago. I met him at Simon Drake's House of Illusion. He was doing close-up there, but, but different than what everyone else was doing close-up. You know, he was getting people to think of a symbol and it would burn and fizzle away on a piece of, on a napkin that he'd just borrowed and the symbol would be there and he, and again, he was being a magician. He wasn't doing the standard stuff that everyone else was doing. And he's always been sort of ahead of the game in that way. Mm. So he's another magician. When he talks, listen, yeah. because, you know, you're going to have an exclusive lecture and uh, you'll be getting some amazing tips and effects and things that you can apply to your magic. But also, I'm, I guarantee you're going to learn some amazing stuff. And something exclusive that is going to bring out in the magic community your first chance to get it before anybody else so yeah that's cool i mean that's absolutely brilliant uh and just those two lectures alone would make the ticket price absolutely worthwhile yeah but that's only 50 percent of the lectures i know i know i'm so tempted we'll have to do a part two of this because i'm 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 playing a video of, of each artist to the magic circle members first so we're giving them so we're showing who it is um and i'm just waiting for these other videos to come in we've got we've got them booked um so i yeah that's that that bit ends there but another two world-class 
lectures. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can get a sneak peek. I know you can't tell me, and that's fine. Let me ask you a question. Both Mark Spellman and Mark O'Brien are British. Yes. Are the other acts from England as well, or are they further afield? Then they're not from the UK. No, um, no, no. It's, it's international. Uh, Interesting. Yes. Is one of them? I don't. So one of them's not from. Yeah, that's a one of them. Well, now lives abroad. Used to. I'm trying to think. I oh, know you're gonna. Okay, you're gonna trip me up here. I'm not gonna go. But yes. <laughs> I'm no. Trying, I'm trying. No. 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 Okay. no. And do we have a time frame before these names are announced? Is it going to be in a week, two weeks, a month? You're you're just you're excited. I you? I know you I'm keep, so excited. Keep no. um, it will be it will be it will be very soon. I'm just I'm going to get these videos and then be you know look out for them and the, and more, the other announcements will be there. But trust me, very 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 good. One of the something for everyone. Close the, up stage everything. One of the question. One thing that I've noticed about the two names you have announced is they're the type of lecturers that don't just teach tricks. Mm -hmm. They teach stagecraft. They teach how to perform. Yes. You know, Mark O'Brien and Mark Spellman are all about, you know, like creating characters, creating performance pieces. Yep. It's not just a lecture of magic tricks. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but, but, but that's, th these are different. The other two lectures, would you say that they're in a similar vein? Yeah, I absolutely. I mean, I've got a book, of um well they're both they're both published authors but that i've got a book that yeah he covers all of that extremely well um and so yes and i would say both of them as well um so yes is the answer to that question but Amazing. you're going to get great tricks as well but um you look a bit deeper than that it's, yeah there's both very good thinkers in how to improve the art of magic it's amazing. That's amazing. I'm gonna. They're, I'm gonna... And they're not all called Mark as well. There's no other Marks. <laughs> There's no other Mark. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got. A, and not everyone's called Mark, so that, that isn't a thing. So <laughs> there's, there's a clue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm not going to get any more out of you. Let me ask you one uh, one question about the the gala show. So we've talked about the the sorry Sunday night at the Magic Circle. I have to get the uh, definitions for all this correctly. Um, so Sunday night at the uh, at the Magic Circle. That's two questions. One that's probably going to go on until quite late, I imagine. So anybody who's coming to the convention, they're probably going to want to get a hotel, aren't they? Especially if they're coming. Yeah, for we are going to get a uh, special rate actually. The, the Houston Houston Square Hotel. I'm just speaking to the manager there about a special rate. So we are going to um, be putting that that out. That's great because that's literally just around the corner, isn't it? Yeah, literally. Or there, obviously the Wesley Hotel is is linked as well you could stay there but i um it won't it won't the show the show won't finish too late because we know some not everyone will be staying but um yeah there will be a, a a bit of session i imagine it will be a bit like the sort of the ruskin type feel in the bar the wesley hotel bar i think you know a lot of magicians who will be staying will get together after and celebrate magic and get that nice feel i'm certainly staying i've booked my my room we might even have a little after show party yet that's to be arranged but we might have we could get a karaoke machine or something like that in and do something i don't know why not why not I'm up for why that. Not indeed that's yeah. amazing that's amazing and tell me a bit about the gala show so obviously the four names that are lecture i'm well you haven't told me i know that you said that mark spellman and mark oberon are going to be on the uh, gala show are the other two names going to be on the gala show as well yes Yes. Okay, so that's four acts. Yeah, one and of them just to, was on TV um, was in another country recently as well. Just I've just seen some fantastic TV footage of one of the acts. Uh, just did a, a, some great spots on TV. Actually, it's going to be in the Gala show. The other one's done worldwide television anyway. So, yeah, they're some great acts. And also we've got, I, I, I think, and I've got other acts in the Gala show still to be announced as well. But I think there's one we, we probably could talk about here. Uh, which might be the official launch because I know you. It I, I, there's 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 some podcast or something that goes out on a Friday. With these two guys who talk. Oh, and, oh, uh, you're not talking about Craig and Lloyd's magic podcast. Yeah, yeah, you might have heard it. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't uh, listen yeah. to that filth. It's disgusting. You know? Yes, yeah, yeah I was sent far away of a quality conversation that you'd have in the magic circles. <laughs> I was 
<laughs> it's, There's a little subtle plug. It's worth a listen, everyone. Um, is that, there might be a few beers involved in that podcast. I don't know. But I... Um, I I, I was sent a link and I had a listen and there's a little bit of a leaky leaky going on about one of the acts who's in the show and I thought oh fair enough I don't mind that because um it's kind of related to him so I think we can we can absolutely announce that tonight and I'm really excited because he is one of my favorite magicians I saw him perform at the Blackpool Magic Convention on stage I follow him on Instagram and watch all his videos on Instagram and I think actually you know him quite well because you had a birthday recently and you actually had an exclusive performance from this fantastic magician I did, on I your did, birthday. Yeah. I mean, I and he's one of my favourite magicians. Of course, we're talking about your son, Rylan Petty. Rylan Petty, yes. I he can't... is in the gala show and I'm really excited about it. He's, he's beyond excited. Like he's taking this more seriously than anything he has ever taken. Like the magic circle to him is this this holy mecca that he's not allowed to go anywhere near until he's of a certain age. And so the fact that he's, uh, you know, he's he's been asked to do the Sunday night at the magic circle, he is literally over the moon. Oh, brilliant. And would this be his first time at the magic circle as well? It's gonna be his first time even setting foot in the building, yeah. That's incredible. Um, your your son is what he I literally I was blown away and I told you this when I saw I saw him in the gala show and he's got stage presence he just the way you walk on stage he owned it he's nine years old and um you know a lot of that is is down to yourself obviously for you know giving him this belief that he can achieve anything he wants to achieve which is absolutely fantastic and seeing your relationship with with both your kids but seeing him on stage and that confidence and you know what i noticed on every video i've watched him he loves magic he loves performing magic he is the smile on his face says it all and it, there's this thing when you watch a magician you, you it's not just a trick it's them if you like the magician obviously you love the trick but everyone enjoys his uh the way he performs magic and um it's infectious it's infectious and i think and maybe I sort of notice a bit of, you know, I've been doing magic since I was four. And I think seeing that, and I see other young magicians, they're fantastic. But in my opinion, Ryland is, is, he's got the little something extra. And I I'm, would put money on it that he is going to be a big name in magic in the future. And um, so I want to get in there early, getting books <laughs> while we can, because, uh, yeah. And I, I know he's putting something special together for it and he'll have everyone behind him. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm really, 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 really chuffed we've got him. He is putting something very, very, very special together for you. Oh, really, brilliant. really special. Yeah. Brilliant. So, and I apologise because I, I heard your podcast, which is worth <laughs> a listen. And I, you just smashed it with a fantastic lecture of the Magic Circle, standing ovation. Everyone absolutely loved it. I come up to you and I said, mate, that was brilliant. 11th of September, got a magic convention. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I went, is Ryland available? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. I'm getting it more and more. I I've decided to basically go into semi-retirement and become his PA. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's happening to me an awful lot these days. He's yeah. already taken me over on Instagram. Like uh, he, he's 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 like we hit two thousand followers at the same time, Brilliant. and I, I it took me a year to get there. It took him two months, and then his Instagram feed on here because there might be some people. Yes, one week later he's now on three thousand, and I'm still on two thousand and forty. Like it's just. And what is his Instagram handle on here? To... Ryland the Kid Magician. Ryland the Kid Magician. There you go. So That's he... it. Give him a follow, and I guarantee you, you'll. It will make you smile every time you watch the videos. And uh, I've also seen, I don't know if that's out yet, but I've seen him doing uh, the thing with the, with the cups and that. That is very, like, wow. He was so excited about that, that Adam Wilbur and Volpine asked him to be a part of that project and to yep. perform and teach his version of the cups and balls. Um, I think that's on his YouTube channel. So I think Is it? Wow. Well, well, well. I, I showed that, to, I was talking to Sergio, from the from Covent Garden, you know, the night he's like mm. the man for cups and balls, and he was well impressed. Like, yeah, really, really impressed. Wow. So, yeah, he's right. he's one to watch, and um, 
yeah, really pleased he's going to be in our, in our gala show, along with other acts as well, to be announced. I, I want to I want to do it properly. We're getting an amazing poster done. I can tell you this much. So, you know, the old... So it's there was a Sunday night, at, like at the Palladium used to be called. That's why we call it Sunday Night at the Magic Circle. And we're getting old posters done where the names fill the poster, you know, different heights, like a sort of playbill. Yeah. And uh, obviously, you know, Ryan's name's going to be on there. But we're going to have a really nice artwork poster done. Andy Green, fantastic magician and great graphic designer, is helping me design a special poster just for the show. Oh. So he'll get that poster with his name up on there with oh, all the other man. artists. Um, so, yeah, watch this space for that poster. That'll look amazing. Um, so, um, yeah, rather than just tell everyone who it is, I want them to see the poster and to see all the other names that are going to be on there. Well, how yeah, many other it. how many other acts are going to be on there as well as? So we've got Ryland, we've got four lecturers. How, how many, I, I, I'm guessing there's going to be a compare, and then there's going to be uh, seven. seven. Wow, maybe, maybe we've got seven. I think maybe yeah. Uh, amazing. So yeah, it's that's amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun, a real fun show. Um, and there'll be, and I tell you also, I haven't put this anywhere on all the writing of the blurb, but the convention is who, whoever goes to the convention and is lucky enough to get that the gold card sort of pass, which is gonna be, you know, for the, the magic emporium, the lectures, and the gala show. Um, they're gonna get a, a goodie bag. Something I've always loved with Blackpool is you get you get that bag, don't you? You do. Yeah. Oh God, I've got this, all of this, and that. I've loved that all the time, and um, we've got we've got some great um, ideas that I think we're going we're going to have. So there, there's going to be some special Magic Circle goodies that are very exclusive that you'll you'll get with this. So I, I won't go into detail because that's all been confirmed at the moment. But there is there is going to be you're going to certainly get your value for money's worth even with what you get oh, on that man. day. So. Again, it comes back to those two words, exclusive and intimate. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's amazing. It will be a fantastic day celebrating something we all love, magic, with some amazing magicians. I, and there's, well, we've got some proper legends going as well, attending the convention as well, mm. like real legends. Um, I, I won't say, because it's not my place to do that now, because they're going as conventioneers, but, you know, they're members of the Magic Circle and they've, done many many tv spots and they are going to be there and I, i'm we've got magic royalty going in my opinion actually i i would say in magic royalty going and we'll absolutely treat them that way as well so you know it's going to be great you know what i love about conventions and i don't know everyone has a favorite different part of conventions but it's just that get together with everyone yeah. with that like-minded so the bar is going to be buzzing the people are going to have a coffee and be buzzing it's going to be a great energy created there and that's what i'm really excited about you know the lectures will be great you know the show will be great the you know magic emporium will be great but just getting that many people together who love magic that's that's the real magic of the convention so really really pleased and um lee hathaway has been fantastic he's he's uh, me and lee have been having many many late night chats going wouldn't this be great here's what let's do this let's make this happen okay let's you know and this we're full of yes people yes yeah that's a good idea do that do that so it's going to be something very very special and hopefully you know you'll be attending the first event of, of many so this is this could be an annual thing and it could get bigger and bigger and bigger we've got other ideas but this it's going to be a really special occasion well i was actually going to ask you one more question about that but before you do is you brought up lee hathaway and you brought up ryland's cups and balls i have to say that if you liked it, it's be, it's massively because of Lee Hathaway because we booked to go on his boat where Mark Obron was there, uh, so that Ryland could hang out with Mark Obron. And Ryland did his first version of the cups and balls routine. Oh, really? Obviously, Lee knows a thing or two about the cups and balls. Yeah, absolutely. So Ryland to one side for about forty-five minutes, and he was going through moves, and he's like, "No, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to do the other." And then when Ryland went home, he like completely started again from scratch based on everything Brilliant. he said. So, you know, big shout out to, to Lee Hathaway on that. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Amazing. But the question I was going to ask you, is this going to be an annual thing? You know, it's got to be an annual thing. You know, it's going so. to be successful, right? I mean, already 70% of the tickets have sold. Yeah. They've only just gone on sale. It's going to be successful. Is this something that we can do every year? Absolutely. I don't see any reason why not. Obviously, you know, we'll get the first one out of the way. If we don't know what time of year it'll be, we'll, we'll look at, you know, we, we were, 
we, we, we were going for this date because we, there was going to be another event at the circle and it wasn't on and then we, we changed it around. So we, this is why we're going for this date in September, but we will, you know, look in the calendar of other things going on in the magic world and we find a, a better date that works, you know, so it doesn't clash or not too close to something. But uh, I hope so. And I think it will, um, I, what I'm really excited about and everyone who's going seems excited about is the fact that it's at the magic circle. We've yep. got this amazing HQ that we can show off and we can we can use and show other people who are not members. And hopefully, I'm sure we'll have a special on if you're, if you're not a member already and you're attending. This is a chance for you to see what you can get. And most of our membership, just, just talking about the Magic Circle for a minute, are not uh, don't go every Monday to the Magic Circle HQ. We have our meetings on Mondays. We've got worldwide members who attend on Zoom. And we carried this on. It, this got bigger and bigger, obviously, over the pandemic. We carried it on. So our lectures, even from the Magic Circle, are streamed online, live, to members around the world. And like you lectured a few weeks ago at the Magic Circle. You, you saw the technology that's there. We've got cameras and screens. And um, you were, you're having questions asked from people watching, you know, in Spain or in New Zealand yeah. or in Newcastle. And you're yeah. interacting. You're like, oh, yeah, that's a good question, blah, 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 blah. And they're getting the best view. They're getting the cameras on. And if people can't watch it because they're time zone, then they're recording. They're on the website for other members to see. So as soon as you join the Magic Circle, you've got an archive of lectures that you can watch. Um, and as well as saying you're a member of the Magic Circle. And it's, uh, it's you know, if you're interested in joining, then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a link. We'll show a link because, honestly, it's... Oh, it's fantastic. It really is fantastic. And it's a great magic community. And um, you certainly get your value for money as well. There's, there's something being built at the moment on the website, with, um, which I, I know you, you've done some content for as well. But it's going to be a library of moves, video of moves. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn a Pharaoh shuffle or you want to learn a coin vanish or so and so, you've got stars of magic teaching you. And it's going to be an index on there. Oh, I want to see that video. And it, that's all on there for members as well, as well as being able to say you're a member of the Magic Circle, which, which means a lot to people. So, um, yeah, well, um, sorry, I went off on a bit of a tangent there, but well, I, I think it's, it's really important. I mean, I'm passionate about, but this is a chance, you know, it's, it is a Magic Circle convention. So we're showing you, this can all be yours. You know, the members of the Magic Circle, it's, um, it's yours. Once you're a member of the Magic Circle, you, you've got as much rights as any other member of the Magic Circle. And that's the nice thing about it is you, you're, it's, it's, it's yours. It's, it's all yours. It's, the hard work has been done by all those in the past have created this and built this incredible HQ and, but now it's all online and it's, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's well worth, worth doing it. So there's something very special about it. It is. I completely agree. 100%. And I can't wait. This feels like to wrap this whole thing up. It feels like the, we, you referenced at the very beginning, the unlocked events during the pandemic. It feels like an unlocked event, but live and in person, because the unlocked events were all about check out the magic circle. This is what it's about. Mm -hmm. Have a virtual look at the magic circle. This is basically the same thing. Yeah. But live, you know, live. a celebration of everything the magic circle has done and continues to do. Absolutely. It is. A, it is a celebration of magic. And it's also, I mean, you know, timing wise, after the last couple of years, we've all had, uh, I mean, Blackpool convention was amazing. Mm. It was just so nice to get together with like-minded people who share the same passion this is absolutely going to be that 100 percent. but you've got the bonus of if you've not been to the circle before um then this is your chance to have a look around the hq and see it for yourself and meet other magicians maybe you've not met before and um you know visit the dealers emporium and uh see sunday night the magic circle it's i mean it's 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 going to be absolutely fantastic i guarantee that there's a lot of work going in behind the scenes to make sure this is a memorable day and magic for everyone who attends and let's look let's talk numbers here for a minute it's not that many it's no. the the, the theater seats like 160 odd so um it's it, i mean i i don't know when when this goes out i don't it could be sold out already i don't know it might not be if it isn't i promise you it's going to be amazing and if you're thinking about it get those tickets booked to avoid disappointment because just it, do it we, we know it's going to sell out because of, it's a, the numbers anyway so it's um we'd love to have you join us it's going to be very special amazing 
Michael, I cannot wait to be there. Ryland cannot wait to be there. Brilliant. Can't wait to, oh man, and I cannot wait to hang out uh, and just experience everything. Congratulations to you and the rest of the council on, on really moving the circle forward and also really kind of bringing in positive change. It's amazing to see. And, oh, thank you. Uh, and, and this is just the perfect example of the things that you were doing. Uh, I also want to tell people if they haven't already to go back and check your interview out on Magic TV because it's one of my favorite interviews and uh, you know what while you're there you can check out Mark Oberon's interview and you can check out Mark Spellman's interview and you can see everything that's going on right there there you go that's that's your that's this week sorted out for you I enjoyed that interview it was like a like a therapy session as well (laughs) I've never delved that far back into my journey in magic you really yeah, well, you was like a therapist. I've never looked that far back. We went into everything. We went into the magic coins. We went into um, how I got started. Everything. It's all on there. So, uh, and I had some lovely emails and sent to me actually, people who watched the interview. So, so no, thank you very much. I'll tell you one thing as well. When Ma- when Ryland is there on September the eleventh, and he walks out on the stage at the Magic Circle, I guarantee you. He will have your coin in his pocket. Oh, brilliant! Of course, he can't brilliant. perform these days without having that coin in his pocket. That, so. so touching! That's oh, amazing, amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. you well, I can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be great. If you haven't got your ticket, check out the link. I'm sure Craig will provide all links and everything provided. There will be a link down below. You've got any questions? Ask it either myself or Michael or somebody else from the circle. Yeah. Jump on and answer any questions. There'll be a link in the description where you can get the tickets, um, but they are going to sell out very, very soon. Uh, this is going out a few days after I've filmed it, so act soon to avoid disappointment. Um, but Michael, one more time, thank you very much, my friend. Thanks, Craig. See you soon. Mm-hmm.